Morning. This is day two. Um, probably about yeah, nearly seven o'clock. So I've had breakfast. Uh, didn't have a coffee because I'm getting low on water. So that's the first priority today. Is to get some get some water. So I'd rather drink the water that I have got than make a coffee out of it. So I've got about half a litre left, which is strange, but because uh, I filled up yesterday, so that's I've done nearly six litres yesterday, uh, it was quite warm um, but I was eating salami all day as well so and I think I woke up a few times in the night so thirsty I think it's because it's quite salty um, and that was drying me out a little bit so but either way I've got, to, I've got to get some water today so I've got to ration what I've got until I find some so um, but yeah went the best night's sleep it was all right um, found a comfortable spot so yeah, we'll, um, we'll get on the trail, so we'll pack up, ready to go. I've well, we just had a stroke of luck, just walking through a farm, and a young lady was putting her horse out. And I just said to her, is there any chance of filling up my uh, water supplies? And she said, yeah, no problem. So yeah, I've got a full, it's just over three litres. So yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a touch that is, because I thought I'd be walking for quite a while on uh, low fluids today, but it appears not. But yeah, be time for a brew soon. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite a misty morning this morning, which is a shame, because uh, you're quite high up here. I'm dropping down into some farmland now, but yeah, the views would have been quite nice this morning. But yeah, I'm feeling it on the legs today. Once they warm up, I should be alright. It's quite a noisy section, but a pretty impressive bridge. I remember when they were building this one. Uh, this is the bridge that goes over the uh, A. I think it's the 507 this is and then you got the M1 over there so. yeah pretty impressive structure Come across a old church ruin in Sejenhoe, just uh, next to Ridgemont. Just reading the plaque at the gate on the way in. It's quite interesting, actually. But yeah, it's been abandoned a long time. Well, it looks like it's going to be another scorcher. <coughs> yeah, it's nice now that fog's cleared. It's going to be another nice day. I should be good, I've got plenty of water. Getting a little bit low on food. I just struggling a bit this morning, but I had a, after getting my water, I stopped after getting like a mile or two under my belt and then. Um, yeah, I had a coffee and a, and a chocolate bar and stuff like that and it sort of brought me around a bit but I was really struggling with my old legs and feet loosened my boots slightly and that seems to have made a bit of an improvement around my ankles I think they were a bit too tight this morning um, but yeah a few bits of kit have been working well the boots have been working well um, I've done about 20 miles in them before this trip um, and the mind all vacuums uh, really good boot they didn't take a no walking in at all just been good from the off. Um, this Rab vaporized jacket has been absolutely spot on. Rolls up into nothing, and uh, it's a windshield and slightly water resistant. 
but it's really really breathable so perfect for days like this mornings misty misty mornings so yeah yeah it's absolutely stunning so I think I'm making good time um, just sort of coming around the back end of uh, Woburn Abbey at the minute so left Ridgemont Again, I've just walked back across this hill over there and you can see quite far. Uh, don't know if the camera will pick it up but you've got a couple of buzzards working working the land around here. Might just be able to see them. There's a couple in that field over there as well. But all the fields have been drilled, they're out drilling this morning. There you go, this one's a bit closer. I've still seen a, one or two fields that have been half cut and I still need combining so I suppose they've just been waiting for the right weather and certainly been good weather the last couple of days. Yeah. It took me a while to get going this morning, but I feel a lot better now. Look at that, beautiful. <clears throat> well, now at Ebershall, in that place there. That's where I have my uh, wedding reception. That was a good night. Yeah, really, really nice place. Nice place. Well, here we are in Woburn Abbey. Absolutely stunning place. Absolutely stunning. So we've just gone past oh, there's like a gardens area that you can go and have a look around. Um, there's a number of these lakes dotted around the actual park. Which have got loads of fish in them. I don't want fishes for them. I'll try and get a better shot of the abbey, but yeah you can just see it coming into view now. But yeah, I don't know. If you can see the grand, the, the grand scale of this whole part, this is only a tiny bit of it. They've got a um, safari park as well. All sorts going on. They sometimes uh, hold big country fairs here. That's the actual abbey itself. They've got art galleries and stuff in there. some more sweetie bits and pieces just for the rest of the journey and just enjoy the afternoon there's no rush now I know I'm gonna make it in all in good time so but yeah just enjoy it enjoy the day oh, look at this it's well impressive look at that. three of them there one just under the tree you can't really see them Veered off the route slightly, 
because uh, I need to stop in Woburn and just get a couple more bits and pieces from the local shop. But um, yeah, and also, it's a nice opportunity to walk past the church that I got married in. St Mary's in Woburn, beautiful church. Just over three years ago I got married in there to my beautiful wife. Yeah, it's a grand old church, that one. Last leg of the journey. So this is um, Rushmere Country Park, pretty much in Stockgrave area that I'm in on the Green Sands Ridge Walk. And there is a bit of last bit of woodland that I'll be walking through, and then it goes onto the canal towpath. Conveniently stops next to a really nice pub called the Globe, so I should be uh, having a cider in there. And then um, walking back to Leighton Buzzard, which is about another mile up the road from that. So, only got a few miles to cover. But I'm going to stop for some lunch in these woods. And uh, a nice little spot I know just down here, really. I will say, the most important bit of kit that I've probably had this whole trip has got to be this water bladder. This is the Osprey 2 litre. Um, yeah, I haven't had one for years, so you know, I eventually bought one, and um, it's just been a godsend, basically. You know, you have to take your pack off every time you have a drink, and it holds two liters, so you know, and it sits next to your back. I um, don't know why I didn't have one sooner, really, but yeah, that has been a godsend. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have some lunch now, and I'll uh, bring you back to the final leg. Buffalo, aren't they? On the home straight now, I can almost taste the cider. My legs are gone. They're gone. Honestly, say I do 
do a lot of training. I'm in the gym all the time. Got my legs just in condition to walk in that far. I'll do, you know, do some heavy weights, squatting, all that sort of stuff. Leg press, hamstrings, lunging. But, oh, but my hamstrings are in bits. I'm all right on the on the flat, just about any incline or decline. <laughs> ground on a, on struggle. Uh, but luckily it's all flat for me now because I'm gonna get to the pub, have a cider, meet the wife, and then uh, it's the home straight for the last mile and a bit maybe. I don't know. I think it's about a mile at the most, all the way to Leighton Buzzard uh, Town Centre Canal Bridge. And that's where my wife's going to pick me up, but I'm going to have a little rest first because I know I've done it in good time. So I don't know what the time is. I think it's getting up about 2 o'clock. I set off yesterday at about 20 past 7, half past 7 in the morning. Uh, basically, that's 40 miles. For me, that's the furthest I've ever walked. Um, and if I want to do these bigger walks, like the Ridgeway and the National Trails, um, then yeah, I'm going to have to get more conditioned and do these sorts of walks a bit more regular, leading up to them anyway at least. So, anyway, hopefully I'll probably uh, bring you back at the pub, so it's a nice little pub. It's called the Globe Inn. Been there many a time. And I think Eddie Aspel on tap. Should be nice. So, bring you back in a bit. Well, after enjoying a lovely pint of cider. Um, I'm on the home straight now, on the uh, Grand Union Canal, leading into Leighton Buzzard from the Globe. Um, I can honestly say I'm quite knackered, but my battery is just about to die any second. Um, and this is the last bit of footage I'll get until that battery goes. So, um, Just approaching Leighton Lock shortly. I've had an absolutely epic time. If anyone's ever thinking of doing a Green Sands Ridge walk, then I highly recommend it, or even sections of it. It's an absolutely beautiful part of the country. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself, learnt loads, and uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed watching the video, and I'll um, see you next time. Take care.